Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm using a Steam Deck right now. Yes, I bought a Steam Deck. Now, when I first had this Steam Deck, I didn't really feel inclined to make an unboxing video or a review video, because there's loads of those online. However, when I was having a look through the list of verified Steam games for the Steam Deck that I own, I was quite surprised to see that this game, Auto Mobilista 2, was in there as verified. It really surprised me because I wouldn't have thought that that would be a priority for the developers of a sim game, for them to have verified status on the Steam Deck. But uh, nonetheless, they have, so I thought I would give it a go. And from my very limited testing it seems to run fine it seems to be very very doable um, which frankly I'm quite surprised however I would say that if you do want to do this on your Steam Deck I would go into options I would go into gameplay and I would basically turn on a lot of the things here the uh, assists so i don't have steering assist on i don't have the braking assist on but if you're really struggling maybe you can have a go at turning those on as well of course i've got the the gearing to automatic i've got the driving assist on full i've got high anti-lock brakes i've got stability control on i've got the the traction control high uh, the opposite lock assist. It's like if you have these things turned off when you're on a controller, you know, it's a a sim game at heart, so it would be very hard to control or it, it would take an incredibly long time for you to get used to controlling it. So I would highly recommend if you do want to play this game on the Steam Deck, these are the settings that you use. And then on top of that, when you start a race, I would also hi highly recommend that you go into this opponent settings here. And I have mine set on 80, where it says opponent skill level. I would basically play around with that until you're at a level where you feel that you can actually compete with the AI in the races. Okay, we're going to start a single race and I'm going to hopefully show you how this game works on the Steam Deck. Yeah, I mean, if you use the the settings that I showed you there, I mean, I would say it's pretty playable. Um, it is still a little bit twitchy. If you overdo it, you can easily spin and stuff like that. But it's, you know, once you get used to it, it's pretty doable. We go but yeah I mean obviously at the beginning it's going to seem incredibly hard but the more you practice the more you can be a bit more competitive and actually feel like you're having a proper race you kind of have to learn as well not to be very like on and off with the accelerator and as I say that that's exactly what I'm doing but yeah, if you can be kind of smoother with your inputs, that helps a lot. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say this is on Forza, you know, it's not at the level of a Forza. Because obviously Forza and those kind of games are actually made with a controller in mind, specifically. So of course those games will be slightly better than this, but if you use the settings that I have used, it's very playable. You can have some fun on the go. Whoops, do a little bit of racing and you see what I mean? When you do start to lose it, you really start to lose it. it, it oops, and there you go. I think the AI just tagged me. Whoops, perfect. Well, I didn't even finish the first lap without crashing out. 
but hopefully you get the idea. And then, yeah, the, the Steam Deck, of course, is kind of getting a bit hot. I haven't really played around with any of the performance settings, but if you want to save your battery or if you want to have less heat, you could have a go to lock it at 30 and stuff like that. I mean, it seems to be very easy. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention then. I was looking at my frames per second. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's go back to the menu. No, that's the wrong thing. Let's go back to the menu. This one, sorry. And let's watch the replay. So, yeah. I think if you really want to increase the performance in terms of the battery life or if you don't really want it to get so hot you could very easily set it up um, with a 30 fps frame lock or something like that it seems to be able to when you're in the race it seems to be able to keep to 60 fps fairly easily i mean and the game looks pretty good i mean it's a a sim game it's a, a racing game so of course the graphics are not like Forza graphics but yeah it seems pretty decent and it seems like the uh, Steam Deck is able, able able to run it fairly well okay so I hope that you weren't really coming here to see some pro gameplay because obviously that wasn't it but the upshot of all of this is if you do want to play Auto Mobilista 2 on your Steam Deck, it is a viable option. And although I don't think I'll be playing it a lot, it certainly has made me think that it is an option for if I would like to play a racing game on the go when I'm on holiday or something like that. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.